before you start a campaign, you will need to choose your hero. Just because you like one character doesn't necessarily mean their intended playstyle will suit you. In this video, I'm going to give you a rundown of all the Danian heroes. Every hero will have two unique gameplay mechanics. To get the best out of your chosen hero, it will be important to understand how and when you can use these mechanics. We start with one of the most famous names in history, Achilles, Warlord of the Myrmidons. Achilles strives to be the best warrior the world has ever known. This plays into his living legend mechanic. In this panel, you can see other warriors who challenge Achilles. You can either find or fight them on the campaign map or demand recognition from these characters. One of three things will happen based on a few variables like your relationship, Achilles rank and targets rank. They will either step down and acknowledge you as better than them, they will challenge you to a friendly duel or they will refuse. If they refuse you will have to find them on the campaign map and battle them with any army led by Achilles. If you choose to duel, Achilles will leave his army for two turns to participate in the duel. He will always win these duels, but the way in which he wins will affect his mood. Being the greatest warrior grants you some impressive buffs and is certainly a key goal to go for when playing Achilles. Achilles is governed by his emotions and depending on what emotion is stronger will change his gameplay. His changing mood can have both positive and negative attributes to his governance and populace. Overall happiness, production and favour of the gods are just a few things that can be affected in both positive and negative ways. Learn his moods so they can benefit you during your campaign. Achilles is an aggressive, war-focused hero with strong elite troops in the Myrmidons. Next we have Agamemnon, King of Mycenae. He can demand a tribute from each of his vassals called the Lion's Share. His vassals pay him tribute every turn. In addition to this, you can pick a vassal and demand an unknown lump sum of resources. The amount you will gain will depend on a few factors. The main being your overall relationship with your vassal. The tribute isn't calculated by what the faction has in supply, so feel free to ask for whatever you need. But be careful, you don't want to abuse this power. Friends could quickly become enemies. Agamemnon's other mechanic is called King of Men. He can offer political positions to other heroes. These positions will grant the hero extra benefits. In King of Men, each office tier provides bonuses depending on whether it is occupied and how many occupied slots there are per tier. This mechanic can give you a significant boost over other factions, giving both your populace and troops significant benefits. Agamemnon focuses heavily on creating an empire through vassalizing other factions. He can acquire a mass amount of wealth, which gives him great trade and diplomatic options. If you like playing politically, then he's the hero for you. Let's take a look at Odysseus, Lord of Ithaca. Spies of Odysseus can sneak into foreign settlements and construct safe haven buildings. These buildings give Odysseus the ability to recruit locally on foreign soil. When constructing a safe haven, you can choose between either the Warrior's Lodge for melee units or a skirmisher's camp for range units. To upgrade these buildings to access more powerful troops, you will need to meet certain building requirements back in your home regions. Odysseus' other mechanic is coastal mastery. All his buildings become available in coastal settlements, making them incredibly important and valuable to Odysseus. But in settlements that are landlocked, you will only be able to access the main settlement building. If you like playing a sneaky, maybe slightly treacherous character, then Odysseus may be for you. Being able to locally recruit in an ally or enemy faction is a powerful thing, saving you time and money, which keeps your campaign moving. And lastly, Menelaus, King of Sparta. His first mechanic is Call to Arms. If you have a defensive or military alliance with another faction, you can recruit any unit from their available roster. You can do this in any friendly or hostile region on the map, but they do take a little longer to recruit so you need to weigh up the pros and cons if you are out on a campaign. Next he has the ability to make Spartan colonies. 
This allows you to occupy raised settlements within your line of sight without having to send an army. It costs resources and the further away the raised settlement, the more resources it will cost. Menelaus is a good hybrid character and may be one of the best if you're completely new to Total War. You can play very politically with him and he's able to expand at a good rate, but with the call to arms he can gain access to many troops in the game, making him dangerous on the battlefield. In the next video we're going to be looking at the Trojan heroes and what they have to offer.